Hey folks, Boney52, hope you are well. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a 2,000 mile review on my 2024 Rogue Glide. So now that I've uh, ridden over 2,000 miles, a lot of folks do a review after 1,000, but I wanted to get a bunch of uh, short trips and a long trip long trip 1100 miles depending on what that looks like to you but i wanted to take a little bit of uh riding it around for a month or so as well as taking it on a trip to be able to give us some true feedback on the 2024 road glide in pro white if you're new to the channel welcome i'm glad to tell you a little bit about the bike i will say that um i am not going to give you the I like the style, I like the color, I like I, all of that stuff is accurate. Uh, I am going to go give you the four things that the bike sticks out to me at, as that I really like. And I am also going to um, tell you the two or three things that I'm not a huge fan of. One of them would be this police officer sitting right here and I'm not quite sure uh, what the speed limit is around here, and I'm hoping it's 45 or below All right, let's get into it Okay, so the first thing that really stuck out to me on this bike and it's about a hundred pounds lighter than my 2021 Rogue Glide Limited that I have so that helps with just the maneuverability of the bike um, This isn't a terribly twisty road. It is for Michigan but the ability to move the bike around, um, even with the stock suspension, um, is, a, to me, significant. Uh, we rode some uh, twisties. Sorry, I'm just uh, sharing some news with my fellow riders there. Um, trying to make their day a little bit better than uh, running by that law enforcement officer and those that follow me that are law enforcement officers hey you play unfair sometimes too so give me a break but <laughs> fully supportive of our law enforcement by the way but i do like how this uh, motorcycle is able just to maneuver around whether it's on the highway or roads like this as a matter of fact i was in kentucky and a buddy of mine was behind me and he's like man you can really lean that bike compared to, to your old one and um, I definitely agree with that especially on some of the twisties there is more to handling than just those twisty roads which this bike does fantastic but it is a touring bike so the question is how does it tour how does it when you have to hit the interstate do and I uh, on my 1100 mile trip that I took last month to Kentucky, I took the back roads all the way and uh, a bunch of twisties and uh, uh, just a lot of fun. But on the way back, I needed to get back and I hit the interstate all the way back. It was a super windy day and the bike just did fantastic. You can see now that I am doing um, um, a little bit more than the speed limit, uh, but. <laughs> Uh, the bike just handles handles perfectly. It was a fantastic ride back and it just tours Really really nice at higher speeds whether it's 60 70 80 or ever you ride your bike is your decision um, I will tell you for those that will ask the new infotainment system and radio is better um, and I can hear it at higher speeds uh, but it is still something that if you're going to do a lot of touring, uh, a lot of interstate, that uh, if you play your radio and it's not through your headset, you may still want to consider upgrading, but you definitely don't have to. It's a Harley radio. It's better. It's not great. But if you're going to worry about handling on this bike, it is fantastic on the twisties. And it is a fantastic when you are out on the interstates like this. It just, as you can see, it is like nothing and I'm doing 80, right? So, um, and I just want you to know that I'm only doing 80 just for the video. Really. 
trust me. <laughs> One of the other items that I just continue to love about this motorcycle, and it's the same in 2024, a street glide, is this new infotainment system. Now, a lot of folks say digital, all that stuff, all that crap. I'll tell you what, I get that. I actually have a 2000 Road King Classic, and it doesn't have any of that stuff, but I got to tell you what, I love it first I'm like I don't know if I can get used to the digital or not but I've come to the point where I'm like I'm not sure I could deal without it I mean I just flat out love the look the brightness of the screen um, you can see right now uh, Apple CarPlay is actually showing the map it's all wirelessly um, and it just sticks out um, you can see it great. It gives you a bunch of information. You know, the controls are a little bit different than the older uh, Harley Davidsons. But overall, super simple to get used to. You'll be on the bike for four or five trips, four or five rides, and you'll be like, man, how did I ever do without this? I love this infotainment system. One of the things, in addition to ice cream, that I really appreciate about Harley and this motorcycle is how the bike came stock. There are really three things that really um, stuck out to me that really helped me in the decision on moving into this bike in addition to the style and all that stuff is one, it is a uh, Milwaukee 117 which uh, I love. I've never had any problems with the Milwaukee 8s. They've been uh, good motors for me, so I have uh, no problem with that. I'm happy about that. Then the second thing is they did upgrade the rear suspension on this motorcycle stock, which means you really don't need to put suspension on the bike. Um, you can. I don't know if I'll do that or not. Maybe on the front. We will see. But right now, as stock, you don't have to. And the other thing is the bars. These bars, you can tilt up and uh, down. You can put them however you want them. So you don't have to change the bars out if you're somebody that thought that the stock was uncomfortable. And I really do appreciate that uh, the bike came that way now. So there are a few things on a 2024 Road Glide that I'm not a huge fan of. And first is the air intake on the bike. While I don't hate it, I'm not necessarily a fan of the look. I know it has the 117 Milwaukee and the USA on it, and it's supposed to be super cool, but it just doesn't work for me. So I may change that out. The one they have now is a replacement. I'm not sure if I like that or not, so I'm gonna hang tight till another aftermarket. The other thing is, on the back of the motorcycle, I really just do not feel that there's enough lights. If you know me, you know I'm a custom dynamics guy, and as you can see, that is pretty much it. And I am just thinking that I can't be seen enough, even though this is a white bike. I am going to probably put some custom dynamics fillers on it and maybe something on the tour pack because this is a chop tour pack that i added and of course if i would have bought a regular tour pack then i would have had the lights so i do feel like i just need to do something a little bit different so the last thing is there are not a lot of power options on this bike and that means to me places that i can plug in since i got the chop tour pack and it's not the regular tour pack that has power in it i really only have one place right now to get power and that is right here now i happen to use this little device here that makes the bike think that there's a headset so i can use apple carplay problem is if you're using that and your phone's out you got a problem so i know there's some options for additional power but the one thing i wish was that there were a little bit more maybe even one of those power plugs they used to have on the older bikes would have been great so of course there are pluses and minuses to every bike and obviously those minuses are really trivial items and things that uh, can be fixed uh, or lived with really, really easy. You're never gonna have anything come perfect. But the last thing I'll leave you with that makes me feel super good about this bike is when you are riding it, and those of you that um, ride
ride, whether it's a bagger or any other type of um, adventure bike, understand this best. You are riding, you are in the bike. You are not riding on the bike. You are in the cockpit. You feel it all the way there. And there is just no doubt that uh, your mind is flat out on the motorcycle and riding when you're on this 2024 road glide. After 2100 miles, I will tell you that I love it even more than the day I bought it. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions about the bike, leave them in the comments. Any suggestions, well, always love to hear them. And I uh, appreciate you guys for sure. Like Y'all be safe out there checking a friend. We'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Peace. This is boating by my side. We'll take Harley for a ride. I love you all like I love fishing.